Praise the Lord. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Genesis 1, verse 1. God dwells in great eternal presence. There is no uh, time in eternity. For time to exist, it has to be out of eternity. God created the heaven and the earth. Heaven is separate from earth and earth is separate from heaven. Verse 2 says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Verse 5 says, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. So in Genesis 1.1, we have the beginning, where heaven and earth are created. Now, when the Bible talks about heaven, heaven is a place where God dwells. But then heaven is also a place where we have the existence of stars, the universe, the planets, the asteroids, the meteorites. And then earth is where there's life. Human life, animal life, plant life, aquatic life. You've got even bacterial life, you've got the amoebas, you've got the unicellular life. Now some people talk of evolution. But evolution is just a bad science theory. Because the Bible talks of creation, not evolution. And we're going to come to a lot of interesting scriptures in a few other studies that we're going to do about Genesis. We're going to look at Genesis chapter 1. We're going to go with the six days of creation. And then we're going to go with the seventh day. So we're just going to carry on right now with Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. And then it says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Verse 2, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Why was darkness on the face of the deep? Why was the earth covered with water? Because when the Bible talks of the deep, it's talking about water. Because we read, And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So the earth was created, and then something happened, and then it was covered with water. Verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. Verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. When were the stars made? When were the sun made? When was the moon made? When, was, when were all the planets, the stars, the moon made? Because all those are part of heaven. The, 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 the atmosphere, space. Not the heaven where God lives, but the heavenly is like when God told Abram to look up to the heavens and Abram looked up and he seen the stars. Something happened that covered the stars, that cast the world into darkness. Because when God creates something, he creates it perfect. We're going we're gonna to see that because later on, here we see in verse 3, it says, God said, let there be light. The earth was in darkness because something happened. There was a water judgment because we know that the earth was covered with water. So there was a water judgment. And uh, scientists uh, uh, talk about meteoroids and asteroids striking the earth and causing an ice age. And then they talk about so many billions and billions of years, but I haven't just seen a clock that can measure billions of years. And uh, there was no one around that time to, to see such a clock. So, some of these uh, bad science theories, they shouldn't be taught in school because they're without evidence. The Bible tells us exactly what happened. 
Now, these books of, the first five books of the Bible were written by the prophet Moses. Moses lived in a time when the children of Israel were in the land of Egypt. But then God called Moses to be his prophet, took him up a mountain, gave him the Ten Commandments, gave him the tabernacle plan, and then revealed or unfolded what had happened, how the earth was created, how life was created on earth. Moses saw visions of God. The Bible says without a vision, the people perish. Uh, science uh, has, has a television. They have video cameras, DVDs. You have a play button. You have a rewind button. You have a fast forward button. You have a pause button. God showed Moses a vision and took him backwards into time like he pressed a rewind button. Showed him what happened in the beginning. And Moses saw creation unfolding. He saw what God did on day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. Man was created on day six. On day seven, God rested. We're going to look at the first day of creation, the second day of creation, the third day of creation, the fourth day of creation, the fifth day of creation, and the sixth day of creation. And then we're going to look at the seventh day when God rested. Amen. God bless you. Till we meet again. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Amen.